Pura held a three hour virtual public hearing Monday morning where Eversource acknowledged the high July rates with an explanation, but customers say it's all a lie. The energy company argued the hikes were agreed upon months ago, saying the frequent heat waves and people working from home contributed to the increase. It's infuriating and it's honestly insulting. Jeremy Sweat showed Fox 61 his bills. In June, his bill was over $200, and then came July, where it suddenly spiked to over $400. Many frustrated customers have emailed into our newsroom, wanting to know why or how this happened. I think customers deserve a rebate. I think they, I think they ought to rebate everybody $75, $100 at least on the next bill. Then I think there definitely needs to be legislative and whatever regulative body with Pura. Senator Blumenthal says he agrees with Jeremy. The absolute immediate imperative is for rolling back those rates, permanently freezing them, making refunds, reimbursing people for their losses, whether it's perishable food or damage to their homes. During the Pura meeting, an official with Eversource acknowledged the increase. There is no doubt that the regular timing of the July 1st rate adjustment in the middle of COVID-19 pandemic came at the worst possible time for customers. Blumenthal supports the idea that electric utilities should be broken up into more local utilities like Norwich Public Utilities, which managed to restore power after Tropical Storm Isaias in just a few days. What we need is to consider breaking up Eversource so that this public utility really serves the public and is responsive with lower rates and better performance. The governor pushing for more strict performance-based standards with consequences. Let's not let this crisis go to waste. Let's make sure we seize the opportunity to totally reform how we do regulation. Pura will continue to have more public hearings in October, and if you have any questions or concerns you'd like to be heard, you have until Wednesday to do so. Reporting in Berlin, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.